I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting pattern rule. The example before us is having some bricks and windows. So we have put some brick design here and inside those white things are the windows. What you need to do is you need to find let us say this is our design number one. Let's say this is our design number one. Let me write one here, design number two, and this is design number three. So in design number one, we have a few bricks and two windows. And number of bricks and windows is increasing as you can see. There is a pattern. So you need to find the pattern in which the number of bricks are increasing and the number of windows are increasing and then you have to tell me on the tenth pattern how many bricks and how many windows are there so so the question for you is let me write down the question here question is find number of bricks and windows in the tenth pattern. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So we are calling these as the bricks. So in the first case we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bricks and two windows. So what we can do here is that we can make a table to understand how the pattern is growing since the size is increasing, right? So let's make a, a table This is our design So let's say design number is written here 1, 2 and 3 In design number 1 Let's check how many bricks we have and how many windows we have. Windows and bricks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 bricks in the first design and 2 windows. In the second design, how is it increasing? This height has increased by 1 and the length also has increased by 1 and that increases overall all four sides so effectively we have added four more bricks here so if you count it will be 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so it is 14 so what you see here is that the number of bricks have increased by 4 plus 4 is it a constant pattern you see? Let's check if we get 18 here. Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's correct. So the number of bricks are increasing by 4. And if that is the pattern, then if we continue like this, on the 10th pattern, how many bricks do you expect? So think about this. Right? Meanwhile, let me work on windows. So in windows, we have two windows. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, and four times three, 12 windows. So those are the number of windows which we have. So it increased by 4, 6 minus 2 and then by 12 minus 6 is 6 which is not the same. So these two are different kinds of rules, right? What should be the number of windows in 10th column? That you need to figure out. To get this answer, now let's try to get this answer. Whenever change is constant, always 4, increase by 4 each time. In that case, the rule is we can multiply 1 by 4. 1 times 4 is what? 4. How do you get 10? 
add six, add six, correct? That's one way of doing it. So what we find here is that there is a rule for breaks and that is whatever this number is, multiply this number by four. So we do four times the number and then we add six to get this number. We are multiplying by 4 only because constantly it increases by 4. So we will have to add how many 4s while going from 1 to 10? That's the question, right? So we multiply by 4 the number 10, correct? Which is 40. And then we started with how many? We have to add those, right? Started means when you went back to 0, I mean... A pattern before this then it should have been 10 minus 4 which is 6 do you see that that is that 6 number anyway rule you have understood 4 times 10 plus 6 gives you 46 how do we get it we get it by multiplying 4 times 10 and then adding 6 that gives us 46 so we got the first rule for the breaks now let's figure out how to find the number of windows? Whenever you have a pattern in rows and columns, what is the best thing to do? Multiply, right? And it is increasing. So the hint here is, when you have increasing by different numbers, then we could do multiplication, right? So of two numbers to get these numbers. Now, in the first pattern, we have 2. In the second, we have 6. How, what should I multiply to 1 to get 2? 1 times 2, correct? So, so, in this case, to get 2, we could do 1 times 2. 2 times 3 is 6, right? 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. So, the number 3, which is the pattern number, in this case, it is 10 times what? 1 more. 10 times 11 should give me the number of windows. Is that okay? So that means 110, right? So 110 windows will be there in the 10th pattern. We found it by multiplying rows and columns. Do you see? So we had rows times columns. So that is how you should be counting whenever you have an arrangement in rows and columns. So I hope that helps you to understand when to use multiplication and how to use it to find pattern rules. So the pattern rule for the breaks is times 4 add 6, right? Or you could say the first one is start at 10, add 4 each time. This rule is called explicit rule, right? So you could use such rules to find 10th pattern, 50th pattern, 100th pattern, just by the rule. And for the windows, the pattern here is rows times column, right? So in the first case, we have 1 times 2. In the second case, it is 2 times 3. Third case, 3 times 4, 1 more, right? So you have to multiply by 1 more. So you have to multiply the pattern number with number plus 1. So for 10th, it will be 10 times 11 to get you the rule. I hope that helps. Feel free to share your comments. Thank you and all the best.